Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson's on something called expanded form, and we're dealing with numbers that go with place values up to the hundred thousands today. The word expanded means to stretch or make larger. For example, if you have a balloon and you blow that balloon up, you're expanding it. You're making it larger. Expanded form in math is when we have a number, for example, 542, and we want to make it larger. Right now, that number 542 is in standard form, and we want to turn that and make it bigger into something called expanded form. How we do that is we take each digit, for example, the 5 is really has a value of 500. The 4 is 4 tens, or 40, and then the 2 ones is just the 2. The 500 plus 40 plus 2 is in expanded form. So that's the kind of thing that we're doing today. We'll be talking about place values and the value of digits. We'll go over the three steps for expanded form, and then we'll solve some problems. And we'll be dealing with place values up to the hundred thousands today, but not every example will be that. Okay, let's show a place value chart and the number on that chart does go up to hundred thousands. That number is 265,937. All of those digits have a place or a place value, and each place has a different value. So, for example, in the thousands period, the hundred thousands, that two, has a value of 200,000. In the ten thousands, the six has a value of 60,000. The five has 5,000, and that pattern would continue through the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. If we were to add that up, we would have our number in expanded form, except that we're showing it going up and down. And it would equal our original number of 265,937. Normally, it's not shown that way, but it's shown going from the left side to the right side, and that part there is our part that's in expanded form. So remember, expanded form is showing the number in a larger way with all the place values, and the value of every digit is shown. Okay, let's go over our three steps. Write the number in expanded form. So the first step is to figure out how many digits there are and what place value. So 459 is in standard form right now, and it has a total of three digits. The place values for those three digits would be ones, tens, and hundreds. So that way we'll know what value each digit has. Now we're going to write the value for each digit. We'll start with the hundreds. So the four is really four hundreds. The five is 50, and the nine just stays like the same. Then we add our symbols, the addition symbols. Now we have our number in expanded form. Write the number in expanded form. So 3,562 right now is in standard form. We want to make it larger in expanded form. First step is we will count the digits, which is 4. That will give us 4 place values. And now we're going to write the value for each digit. And usually we'll start with the greatest value. So the 3 is 3,500. Our six tens is 60, and then our two ones. Last step, we just need to add our addition symbols, and we get 3,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 2. That is our number in expanded form. Write the number in expanded form. So this is a six-digit example. So first, we will count our digits, and let's just keep showing the place value. When you're solving by yourself, you don't have to write the place values, but we'll show it for now. So our 7 would have a value of 700,000. The 2 would be 20,000, just zero thousands for this one. 800s, 9, 10, or 90, and then our 4 ones. And our last step is just to simply add our addition symbols. We'll take away our place value there. And expanded form for this number is 700,000 plus 20,000 plus 0 plus 800 plus 90 plus 4. That's expanded form. Notice the 0 for this answer. You do not always have to show the 0. We are today, but I'll just show it again at the bottom of the screen. 
Notice that we left the zero out this time. Both ways are acceptable. It just depends what your teacher asks for or sometimes what the textbook that you're using is showing. Okay, this is different. Write the number in standard form. Right now, that number that you're looking at, that's already in expanded form. Our job is to go from expanded form to standard form. Okay, when you do this, make sure that the number of digits in your answer is equal to the number of digits in the greatest number. Now, let me show you what that means. The greatest number for this problem is 900,000. How many digits do you see for that? I'm seeing six digits. So it's a really good idea to count the number of digits in your first number, right? And then put them for your answer. That way your answer you know must have six digits, okay? All right, so the nine, we take the nine from hundred thousands, the one from the ten thousands, the five from the thousands, six from the hundreds, and eight from the ones. Notice something doesn't look right. We are missing our tens, so we need to put in a zero there. That's called a placeholder. And then when we put in our comma, our answer is 915,608, and that's in standard form this time, okay? Remember, the trick to these is make sure that the greatest number, you count the digits and make sure that your answer has the same amount of digits. If you do that, you should be okay. All right, let's look at some problems for expanded form today. What is the number in expanded form? Okay, 63,759, all right. I'm counting a total of five digits. The uh, six is 60,000, 3,750, and our nine ones. Let's put in our addition symbols, and that looks to me like it's going to be A uh, in expanded form form. Okay. Which number is written in expanded form? Okay. Pause if you like. All right. Um, well, it's not going to be A. That's standard form. C is in word form. And D is also in standard form. So the answer is going to be B. Even though that's only a two-digit uh, uh, answer, it's still in expanded form. Okay, write the population of Raleigh in expanded form. So pause for a second. Okay, so we're looking for Raleigh. Those are all towns in North Carolina. So there's Raleigh on our table, and there's the number we need to work with. I'll just put that number up to the side there, and we're going for expanded form. I'm seeing six digits. I notice there's a zero there. We'll show the zero for this one. And we've got 400,000 plus the zero plus 5,000 are 600, 10, and 12. And so that would be our answer in expanded form. Which number is written in standard form? Okay, pause if you like. Okay, so we want standard form this time. So A is expanded form. We don't want that. And D is in expanded form, so that's no good. And B is in word form, so it's C. 145 is expressed in standard form. What is 823,054 expressed in expanded form? Okay, pause if you like. All right, we'll rewrite the number, right, and count our digits. Okay, so our answer is going to have six digits. We'll show the zero, right? So the A is going to be 800,000. The two is 20,000. We've got 3,000 zeros for our hundreds, 50 and 4. And let's put in our addition symbols. I think it's D. Sometimes there's a lot of numbers to look at. There we go. So our answer is D in expanded form. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. Great job. And we hope to see you on the next one.